Namaste guys, I'm going to do a video today about how to seduce a Sagittarius woman for those men that um, like a Sagittarius woman and you have no idea how to, you know, get to know this person. Um, I'm going to give you a few pointers on how to um, interact with them without scaring them away. Now, uh, before I get to that, I want to uh, tell you a little bit about Sagittarius women, and I'm a Sagittarius myself, so I do know a lot about the sign, obviously. The, the key word with Sagittarius is freedom, okay? They have to have space. They cannot feel being pinned down or being bossed around or dominated around, okay? They need somebody that is their companion, okay? Not their uh, dictator. They don't like people that are clingy. They don't like people that are overly emotional, make scenes everywhere. They like confident people. And it, they don't have to be uh, physically strong, but they have to be confidently strong. Okay? Because Sagittarius likes freedom so much that they need somebody to take the lead. To lead that way so that they have that space to do whatever they want. Okay? This is why. This is why Aries is such a good match with Sagittarius because Aries is a leader, okay? And Aries is always, you know, uh, first in everything. So what, what does Sagittarius do? Sagittarius follows Aries, okay? And they follow Aries, but they have the time and space to do whatever they want because Aries is not that concerned about what other people are doing, okay? They're very concerned about what they're doing themselves. So by doing that, they're giving Sagittarius a space and Sagittarius could function with an Aries. Okay. Now, if you like a Sagittarius woman, she'll be very sentimental, not as sentimental as a Cancer, but she will be very affectionate too. Okay. In that spirit of getting together, you know, around a fireplace and, you know, cuddling and stuff like that, but they don't want to have a leech on top. Okay, you know what I mean? After that, they want to go climb a mountain or something, you know, or do something fun. They don't want to have somebody behind them, you know, telling them what to do, when to do it, what are you doing, uh, spying on them. No, that's just not it. Okay. If you want to get rid of a Sagittarius person, tell them what to do with their life. Now, so to seduce a Sagittarius woman, uh, you cannot come across as dominant, okay? Let's say, for instance, you are playing volleyball, right, and you see the Sagittarius girl. You don't know her rising sign, so let's just go with Sagittarius, okay? Because the rising sign, you have to know, you know, the, the time of birth, and it will be awkward if you ask her the time of birth. So let's just say you know her sun sign is Sagittarius, so let's just work with that, okay? Do not flatter her to death, because I know that, I know that a lot of Taurus men, okay, and a lot of Scorpios do this. The Scorpios are darting; they will dart their way. And you know, try to figure this person out, and that will just scare the crap out of a Sagittarius person. Okay, they don't like to be figured out. They don't want no commitment. You know, they just want to do what they came there to do. Okay, so you got to come across as somebody that is very busy, that's doing things, but at the same time, you're just having a conversation because you happen to be there, and you know, occasionally you like what they're doing, but maybe. If they want, they could go and join you. That is the strategy. Okay. You could ask a Sagittarius out right off the bat. Okay. It's a 50 50 chance that they'll say yes or no, but they'll like it. They, they will actually appreciate that you, you know, had the confidence to go up to them and say, hey, I think you're great. You're gorgeous. You know, I would like to take you out. And if you ask them out, you say, listen, we'll go anywhere you want be dinner, it doesn't have to be, you know, something traditional that people do when dating. No, it could be anything extraordinary, okay? Now, be careful because if you do this, um, Sagittarius women could be a little crazy, okay? They, they're very adventurous and they could sign you up for skydiving, okay? So, if you're not that brave, I, you know, probably not, it may not be a good suggestion, okay? Now, back to the volleyball scene. You have to have a body language of confidence. You have to have a body language of not needing this person, not needing this woman. Okay. So let's say you guys are just playing volleyball, and you know uh, the ball just happens to go, you know, in, in, in his direction, and she's actually going heading your direction. 
you just toss her the ball say, hey, you know, good catch or whatever. But don't stare at her. Do not just normally do that, you know, just... And then if you guys end up, you know, uh, talking in the picnic table for some reason or, you know, getting a glass of water, you might want to initiate a conversation with somebody about some trip you're about to take or some about some religion or some sort not not religion but some sort of a you know because Sagittarius likes spirituality so you could say something like oh you know I'm gonna go to Thailand you know oh when I go to Thailand to play next year I just can't wait to um, I don't know go pray to Buddha or whatever that'll just be like, what like, what Thai you know Wow, he's gonna go to Thailand? Are you, are you kidding me? I've always wanted to go there, even if it's not where they wanted to go. But you know, they're kind of interested. Like, man, this person really doesn't like to be confined, just like me, you know. And you know, that, that'll I'll be like, oh my God, you're going to Thailand? And I would just, you know, that's something I would say. And they're like, yeah, you know, oh, you've been there. And I'll, that's when you start to initiate the conversation. Now, again, do not look desperate. Do not look interested in this person. Just occasionally potentially interesting that's what you have to give the the air of appearance potentially this is the word potentially do not sound like you're interested it could be a potential for for you know make it seem like it could be a potential that she could possibly be interesting now keep in mind that Sagittarius you know women they got a very very big schedule okay they I you know I remember in high school I had a schedule to for choir one for theater one for dance one for everything you know, so these people, you know, you have to re you have to understand that if they don't give you like a solid yes on going out, it's probably because their schedule is full. So they're trying to think of where to fit you if they like you. Okay, some just don't like you, and this is, then it's a no. But what I'm trying to say is that they have you have to give them the impression that you are in the same page that they're in, that you don't have the time to be chasing, they don't have the time to be stalking or chasing someone or telling somebody else what to do because you're too busy doing your own thing, okay? You want to be a companion. That's what, that's, that is the impression that you want to get across with a Sagittarius woman or else you're just going to scare her away, okay? Now I hope this video helped and namaste.